Does it seem louder in here? Hmm. That's messed up. Much better. Hey everybody, it's Thursday. It's February 16th and it's 524 and the current temperature is 38 degrees. Oh my gosh, we hit 40 again. No snow today, thank goodness. There may be some flurries tonight. I'll keep you posted. If you can hear that in the background, and I don't know if you can because the mic is, again, it's up here. And it's supposed to drown that stuff out or filter it out. I came in today and the computer was off. And at first I thought it was just one of those reboots that my company likes to spring on my laptop way too often with their automatic software updates and their constant reboots without asking my permission and whatnot as if they own the computer instead of me. Can you believe it? So I turned it on. And instead of it working, it beeped twice and said fan error and turned itself off again. Now, I recognize this because this is actually the second Lenovo in a row where I've experienced the fan error. And this time it must be a real one because I hit escape, which is the super secret way to force it to continue rebooting. And about 15 minutes later, it shut itself off because it had overheated. So. I'm not doing real CPU intensive stuff here, although I'm probably pushing it by trying to record a video right now. So, put in a travel ticket, and of course we don't keep spare fans, why would we? So the Lenovo guy is going to come out to the office tomorrow, I hope tomorrow. It's freezing here with this fan on. And really, I'm the only person in this side of the building, but somebody put a lock on the office next door, which has the thermostat in it, so we can't do that. I have a lab coat for just such an emergency, but I haven't worn it. Because I need you to see my semantic bowling shirt, which I got on sale because they were trying to get rid of everything with this logo on it, because that's not their logo anymore. This is their logo now. Notice how I have cleverly covered up my phone number so you can't call me. Who knew I thought that far ahead? I'll go get, you know, I'm going to put my lab coat on. Stay there, I'll be right back. I got this back in California. So it's like, it's well used. I, I used to sleep in it when I worked the graveyard shift at XO. I, I can tell you that occasionally I fell asleep at work on the graveyard shift. I can say that now. It's from uh, Long Gone Tyco Electronics. Hmm. This is comfy. So now I'm wearing white, so the video will exponentially increase in size because it has so much more data for white than for black. I hit the default settings button on the camera again, so if I look brighter or dimmer than normal, in a purely aesthetic sense, of course. We all know occasionally I appear pretty dim intelligence-wise. <sighs> I actually don't have anything to talk about. I think you can tell. But I'm four minutes in. It turns out somebody disliked my video from Monday. I hope they just disliked the fact that I wasn't going to record a video on Tuesday and not the fact that I said something offensive about Whitney Houston or something else. I think I put down Nicki Minaj. Maybe somebody disliked that. But that's actually the only activity I've gotten as far as thumbs up, thumbs down. Because it is kind of difficult. It's easier to watch these things as an embed, which is why I embed them on the W and on Facebook and on Google Plus when I remember. But if you actually go to YouTube and watch it, then you can do the thumbs up, thumbs down, and leave comments. But I don't think anybody's actually doing that. And I, it's, I don't blame you either. And let's face it, I ask an awful lot of you just to sit here and watch this thing. 
I mean, you got to be pretty hardcore into CRZ to watch this stuff. And what does that say about you, really? I think you've got some thinking to do. I need to shave, too. I haven't had time. I had an early meeting today, so of course I got up early. I have an 8.30 call tomorrow, if you can believe that. I can't even believe there is an 8.30. So, who knows? I should be well and zombified by the time you see uh, me tomorrow. Although, you'll probably see me earlier in the day, because my day will end earlier. Kind of like it is tonight. It's not after 6 when I'm doing this. Or 5.38, when you hear the Taco Bell gone. Man, the Budweiser shootout is Saturday. NASCAR's almost started again. Gillen's not in the shootout, though. David Reagan is. I guess I'll root for the 34 because I have to, but I don't know. You want to talk NASCAR? Susie, are you still watching? I know you want to talk NASCAR. You're all up into front row motorsports, right? David and David all the way? Hey, their third car, that was announced that uh, Tony Raines is going to drive the 26. That's going to be front row's third car. So, if they get into Daytona, that'll be a big deal. So they can immediately park. But, you guys in NASCAR, or you guys not in NASCAR, probably have no idea what I'm talking about. You probably don't care. But you're still watching, so thanks. Anything else I need to say? I don't know. Nothing really grabbed me today. How about that Kraftwerk thing? They're going to be in New York for eight nights in a row. They're going to do a different album each night. Which means they'll probably do stuff that they haven't done live in a long time. I kind of wonder what that, some of that Autobahn stuff that's out there. I don't know if they'll try to digital it up. Which is really, I don't think it will work too well, but with all the original guys gone except Ralph, it's going to be different. I don't know. I just hope somebody bootlegs it because I won't get to go. And then I found out that the way they were selling tickets, you couldn't get more than two tickets anyway. So if I couldn't see all eight nights, probably not worth whatever unreasonable outlay of cash it would be to go to New York just to see them. But I do think I'm going to have to try to schedule a pilgrimage over there to at least catch their um, MoMA, what's that, Museum of Modern Art. They're going to have an ex there's going to be a craft work exhibit there from the time they start April 10th to about halfway through May. So there's a window of opportunity there. I'll probably have to try to make a New York trip just to see that. Because I'm a nerd. And that's craft work something I really nerded up about. So going to happen. This is kind of nice. No, no pins on this lapel, though. Can I show you my flag pin today? There it is. Come out here. You can see almost all of them. Like I said, hopefully I won't have to have this fan on tomorrow so it won't be so cold in here. Stay there. Thanks. Well, we've done it. Another eight and a half minutes. And me with nothing to talk about. I didn't even talk about the fact that we beat the Bobcats. They should have beat the Bobcats. They only had three wins. I didn't even realize they were that bad. But that Boris Diaw, he's, uh, he's he's pretty large now, isn't he? Hey, did you hear Derek Williams is going to be in the dunk contest? Yep. So if we can get Ricky Rubio in the skills contest, we'll have a Timberwolves sweep of the events. It's going to happen. I'm suddenly very interested in the All-Star Weekend festivities. Derek Williams, that man can dunk. And I'm sure uh, he'll get the assist from Rubio on at least one of them, so that'll be good. That'll be exciting. And really, you know, who's going to beat him? Chump? Chumping around? No. Sorry, Knicks fans. And I don't even remember who the other two guys are. Two other guys you never heard of. All right. So we'll talk more about basketball tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe I'll shave. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about how tired I am because I had to show up to work for an 8.30 call. Well, till then, I'm still that guy. And you can learn more about me by going to my website, CRZ.net. Thank you, and we'll see you tomorrow. I hope.